I guess the most rewarding since I came into office was actually completing work. <laughs> the most, that's why I said, you know, to see that things had been started on uh -huh. in the past. Um, to, so when you look at the, the marine sector, yachting sector, boating, that's very close to my heart. Yeah. I mean, I was on a boat from the time I, could, I was born. And to see how you can assist that sector that is very, very close to me, yeah. Um, to allow them to start, to allow them to actually have a season, to allow them to have boats coming in. And this was, you know, contrary to what was coming in from the public health side. They just wanted, you know, they wanted to close off the entire island to anyone coming in, which you can understand. And I said, well, I, I really do need a chance of survival because St. Martin's a, is a center for boat repairs, uh, provisioning, and you can understand that a lot of people needed to come here and do what they needed to do before they would leave for the hurricane mm -hmm. season. So that was really important for me to make sure I can accommodate a marine protocol for the yachting sector, boating sector. Felt good, it was done. When you know, when you get uh, comments from the Marine Trades Association that you know you helped us to have a season, that's what makes me feel good. When I see in my dialogue, I think one of the favorite things about my job is the com the conversations I have with stakeholders hotels, uh, you know, businesses, nightlife businesses, c uh, casinos, nighttime, the clubs, everybody that has had to basically be affected by the decisions to close earlier, having a dialogue with them where they don't really hate you, even though they're upset they have to be closed, mm -hmm. that's important to maintain that, yeah. that uh, friendly conversation, even though it's having a significant effect on their business. That, that made me feel good. Seeing the numbers increase of airlines, seeing airlines happy that you're opening and they're actually seeing their load factors increase. That's what gives me, that's what makes me happy about my job. Helping people who haven't been able to be helped for years, mm -hmm. that's what makes me feel good. And that's, and that's, that's the, the enjoyment you get from the job. And that's why you should be in this job, is actually to, to follow through, to follow through on, on what is expected of you. And, um, yeah, I, that's it. You know, because too often, a lot of people don't want to go into politics. It's dirty, but it can also be good. Yeah. And I told someone the other day that the beauty of going into politics, you can also help people. That's, I think, the most important yeah. part for me is being able to help people. I think the least important part of the job mm -hmm. is the interference I get. Yeah. Uh, you know, people thinking that they can control you, and they don't. Yeah. I have, I'm a very independent thinker that do, that I, with my career in finance that you questioned, I mean, I'm used to doing my work with integrity, uh, with confidentiality, in an objective manner. And um, yeah, I just, I feel like when you have this, you it's your independent, objective, confidential, and with integrity then you can go ahead and continue. And I've, that's been my career in finance, so it's very easily uh, transferred over to my career as a minister. But the interference, I really can't, uh, I can't deal with. And that's, it's very um, time-consuming and distracting for people to continuously have to, to answer to others that think that they can tr control you. And I'm not going to tolerate that control because I know based on the advice that you have with people that have been here before me, you know, whether it's, re it's retired politicians, co uh, you know, current ones that are your colleagues, whether it's in the comm or in parliament, and just advice on people on the friend side and the other islands you speak to, that is, that's the way you learn. And, and sure, you have to get a little bit of experience from, from being, you know, there in, in it every day, in the action every day. But the, you have to realize that there is a separation um, within, within government for a reason. And I think sometimes you, as a minister, you, can, you tend to get distracted by a lot of noise that's coming in, a lot of questions. And, and what I would love to see going forward, and it's something that I, I am planning to do, is that uh, there is better dialogue, you know, like you, you basically expect a better relationship instead of continuously being questioned yeah. to actually being assisted, especially when it comes to legislation changes. Yeah. And um, not feeling like uh, the role of, of, of some is to attack the ministers, but actually I think that 
what the island needs to kind of figure out is that we're all supposed to be going in the right direction together. Instead of, you know, you can question and hold people accountable, but you can't do it in such a way that that distraction starts leading to no action from a, uh, from a minister. So for me, I just kept focus. I'm very good at just mm -hmm. keeping my goals there, my priorities mm -hmm. listed that haven't changed, and, and that's where I am now. So it, there's so much that can still be done, and I think uh, you just need to continue to keep that focus. And that would be my recommendation yeah. to anyone.